Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be learning three tricks in Rhino. And the first is how to make this view setting that looks similar to the one that uh, is found in Revit. Second, uh, we're going to modify also in the clipping plane settings in this same view uh, so that it could bring out for us already neat and clean sections as the one that you see to export right away as PDFs and not have to make 2D and trim and clean the drawings ourselves because especially if you have um, many complex details and if the model is big, uh, the Make2D can mess up a lot and you would have to clean and that uh, would take so much time. And the third thing we'll uh, learn is how to make a transparent view setting like this one that I have applied to the glass so that we can only apply to the glass and we'll see how we can have two view settings applied on the same viewport at the same time. So let's get right into it. First thing, type options. Go to view, display modes, and make a copy out of shaded. Now open it so that you can see it modify as you're working on it. Okay, so the first thing you want to change is the background. We want to give that a solid white color. Second thing in the ground plane settings, we want to turn the first option on and the second option off. Then for the color and material usage, we want to set that a single color for all the objects. We want that color to be white, it is white. And we want to turn off the gloss. So, then, in visibility, we want to turn off the first two options. And in the lighting method, we want to set it as default lighting. And for the ambient color, there is a specific color that I prefer, uh, a certain shade that I like to use, which is a triple 3F. Okay, now for the objects, go to surfaces, and the color the ed the color of the edge we want that as a single color black and we want it one pixel thickness now for the clipping planes this is the edit that we're going to be using for the clipping planes first the fill we want it to be a solid color solid black but if you choose uh, the blackest black there is um, uh, rhino will translate it into white so we just want to enter the smallest value we can so that it could be very slightly um, above black in the RGB and use that same shade for the color of the edge of the clipping plane and have it as a thickness of one pixel. Now for the shadows, turn them on, have the first one as maximum, the second one as it is in the middle the third and the fourth as lowest and this one also as maximum and for the shadow intensity we want that to be 60% and there you have it now for the glass type options again and make go to display modes and make a copy out of the view setting that you have just made you can rename it as glass if you wish and now we only need to change two small settings. First thing is the color and material usage. We want to change that to object color so that you can change the color of the glass uh, directly, sorry, directly from the color of the layer so that you wouldn't um, have to enter in the settings of the view every time you want to change it from gray to t slightly tinted as blue or whatever. And then the transparency, we want to have it as 65%. So to apply it, first select the glass or select the objects on the layer and then type set object display mode and then type on mode, I mean press on mode and select the view that you have made for the glass. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope you found this helpful. See you in the next video.